Okay, so now we are we are here at the Large Animal Research Station. Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm the research tech out here. And these are some reindeer. Oh, hello. Um, and so it's calving season for reindeer? Yes, yeah, so calving season started about a week ago. Uh, we have eight calves on the ground right now and they're all doing really great. And there could be one born right as we're out here. You never know. It could happen anytime. How long is reindeer labor? Um, so it can go on for a couple hours. So usually after you see the hooves, um, it happens fairly quickly. So it's only about uh, 45 minutes to an hour after you know the feet come out. And there's, there's a baby over there having a little lunch. How protective are the reindeer mothers of their reindeer babies? Um, they are protective, but they are pretty understanding of us there. Um, the people who take care of them coming around, um, we can usually handle them uh, pretty safely without a lot of stress uh, for mom and baby. Because that's what you're, you're here to do, so to learn how they get along and mm -hmm. how they behave. How long has uh, Lars had reindeer? Um, so Lars formed in 1979, uh, musk oxen were brought out there and it was I think another 10 years before uh, caribou came. Um, and this current reindeer herd is actually pretty recent. They only got here I think about 10 or so years ago. And what have you learned so far? Uh, a lot of things. The research we do varies from reproductive research, um, behavioral research, nutrition. Um, we look at kind of how their antlers grow and develop, so it's a wide range. How do their antlers grow and develop? That's a great question. Like, why don't humans have antlers? Because they're pretty cool looking. Yeah, so reindeer, uh, ranger for Tyrandus is the only member of the deer family where both males and females grow antlers. Uh, so you can see a lot of these ladies still have what we call their hard antler or their final stage of antler, but like this young yearling here, um, she doesn't have antlers and you can kind of see her new antlers starting to form, those little black uh, kind of balls on the top of her head. And so that's in the stage that we call velvet. Um, and the velvet is the growing stage of the antler. It's basically like a vascularized membrane that fuels the antler as it grows. And so it grows from the tip out um, over the summer months and then will be fully formed you know, by August. Um, and then the hormones will change and signal them to clean their velvet off, um, revealing the bony antler underneath. So is it just the genetics that make them sort of branch out into having the different yeah, the, the horns shape and stuff is, like that? How yeah, does that work? The shape is based on you know, mostly genetics. Uh, as the animal gets older, their antlers will get larger, um, but mostly genetics. Do you ever see an antler pattern? You're like, oh my goodness, I've never seen that before. That's a that's a classic reindeer antler. Uh, we still have some females that have some pretty impressive antlers. If you go to hashtag mutton chop the reindeer, you can look at hers. Her rack was very impressive, uh, but she actually was the first one to calf this year. Uh, oh, cool. So after they calve, the females drop their antlers within a couple of days. So she's already lost her antlers and uh, working on growing a new set. How many reindeer do you have here at Lars? Uh, right now, with the calves, we're at 48. That is quite, is that a normal herd? How big is a reindeer herd in the wild? Uh, so in the wild, the herd size can be, you know, in the tens of thousands. Oh, so you got a little bit to go before you. Yeah, so they can be quite large. Um, but for us, you know, this kind of, uh, is probably as large as we would like to see the herd. Um, Cause we do also have to manage our pastures for uh, the musk oxen and, and our steers as well. Yeah, some animals are good parents. Some animals sort of give birth and then let the baby find its own way. Yeah. Where do reindeer rank on that scale? I would scale? say reindeer are probably uh, on the, among the top for being uh, taking care of the offspring. Um, they also have the uh, highest fat content among land mammals for their milk, um, but they take very good care of their offspring. They are um, protective will actively defend whereas some deer don't um, uh, and they are pretty self-sufficient calvers so usually they don't have too many problems we've got some photographers taking some pictures we'll share more of those later what, what's your favorite part about the reindeer the reindeer um, I would just say honestly their noses 
It's very specific, but they have very cute noses. So. Thank you very much for sharing some stuff, and thanks for letting us come out and visit them. Thank you.